Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out some products from Beauty Pie. If you have not heard of this brand before, they're really interesting and cool. Before we get into the product try on and everything, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching at any point. But let's go ahead and get started. So starting with the brand sort of overview, if you've never heard of them, sort of thinking of them like the Netflix of luxury beauty. So they're a website that offers you luxury beauty products, but without the unnecessary sort of middleman cost. So you get the same quality product, but for a much more affordable price. And they are a membership service. So you pay a $59 annual fee, and then you get to pick whatever products you want. It's not subscription based. So like you don't get sent just random products that you don't have a say in. You can go on their site and shop whatever you want. So they have makeup products, they have skincare, they have home, and then they also have body care, wellness stuff, kind of a little bit of everything if you like beauty if you're watching this video basically they have stuff that you'd like on their site so they use the same labs as a lot of luxury beauty companies but their site is lab direct so you don't get all those additional costs and fees added to the product you're basically just paying for the product itself super cool idea i was really interested in this brand when i first heard about it there's one product in particular that i found out about the brand from you'll see towards the end of this video but we're gonna try on a sort of array of products Products from them today really exciting and that's how we ended up getting this beautiful glowy look and beauty pie was kind enough to sponsor this video today so thank you beauty pie and i always say thank you to everyone who watches because without you what is this channel not much really and then they also provided me a code for you so you can use the code Lindsay sent me for ten dollars off i'll pop it on the screen here links will be below let's go ahead and get started with the first product i have here to share with you this is called their all in wonder illuminating primer so typical retail for for a product like this would be around $32. I've definitely paid more than $32 on products similar to this. And this is the shade Nude Glow. So this package does have a pump on it, which I love, it keeps it sanitary. I described the texture a little bit before I actually apply it to my face. It has sort of like a thick lotion consistency. It does have a little bit of a tint to it, but once it's blended out, it looks really nice and natural on the skin. It does help to even out the tone of my skin. If you like really light coverage, you could even just wear this on its own. Or what I've been doing lately is on no makeup days, I've just been putting this on for a little bit more evenness to my skin and the added glow. But let's go ahead and pop this on. So I'm taking about one pump on my hand and I'm going to apply this all over my face. I love that this product isn't super like shimmery or glittery it's definitely more of a natural like just looks like your skin is really healthy type of glow I find a lot of illuminating primers sometimes accentuate my texture because they are more of a like thicker shimmer or just have a texture of their own but i feel like this actually does the opposite like it gives me the glow but it's also smoothing it does also work really well as a primer because of that smoothing aspect of it makes the skin nice and smooth it does go beautifully under foundation i've tried it with a couple different foundations so far and i haven't had an issue with it really just beautiful satin texture i think a lot of different skin types would enjoy this even if you're oily i don't think this adds too much like oiliness to the skin or anything like that it's just super pretty and versatile so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my base makeup and then we'll move on to the next product from beauty pie next moving on to one of my favorite products of the bunch here this is called the glow all super powder face palette so you get four different shades in here comes in a really beautiful rose gold packaging with a nice big good quality mirror so the four shades are a powder formula but they're really interesting i'm not sure how to describe these they're not powdery they almost just have this like creaminess to them but they're not a cream either and these are the four shades in the palette so there's a highlight the bronze which is all the way over here and then the two blush shades here's the four shades swatched on my hand this is one of those formulas you really have to feel it to kind of understand what I'm talking about in terms of the formula. It is like a baked, smooth, creamy, not at all powdery type of formula. So when you do dip a brush into here, the powder is not going to fly everywhere. And it also translates really well onto the skin because the powders are so smooth. It also makes it look super smooth on your skin. And a four pan palette like this would typically be around $50. And this one is $17.13 on Beauty Pie. 
And then with this product, I'm also going to be using a brush from them. This is called their contour brush. Brushes like this would typically run you $45 and this one is $9.36 for basically two brushes in one. I'm definitely ready to get the color back into my face. So we're gonna start with the bronze shade here and I'm using this angled end of the brush. This is a synthetic brush, by the way. And then I'm going to start buffing this, more like tapping actually onto my cheeks. If you have fair skin, I really like the formula of this because it's super buildable. You're not gonna get a ton of pigment at once. So a lot easier to not go overboard, which is usually my problem with bronzer. I'm just doing the same thing on my forehead here. Now I'm taking the other end of this brush, which you probably use for highlight, but I'm going to dip back in to that bronzer shade and sort of do a soft contour just on the sides of my nose. And then I'm also gonna use this sort of as like a big eyeshadow brush just to get a little bit of a transition shade in our crease. I'll actually be layering blushes today too. So I'm gonna start with this powder one. I'm just gonna use the same brush, the contour brush, the angled end of it. And I'm gonna take this more cool toned pink, just a little bit because we are adding green blush after this just to sort of set a base for that color. These are such beautiful powders. I'm really in love with this formula. It's unlike anything I personally tried. I think I have some eyeshadows that are similar to this, but I've never had like a face palette that has that creamy, still powder, but not cream type of formula. And before we dig into the cream blush, I'm taking the other end of this brush and just cleaning off the bronzer shade we had on the end of this. And then I'm taking the light champagne highlight. This is so beautiful. I love a non glittery, just like natural glow type of highlight. It's really so gorgeous. I think this is one of my new favorite highlighters. I've kind of been not loving highlighters lately, but this one I think kind of got me back into it because it's so just smooth looking and definitely doesn't accentuate my texture. It's usually an issue for me. It kind of gives you that like glowy glass skin type of highlight. Really beautiful. Onto the cream blush from Beauty Pie. This is called their Super Cheek and I have the shade Universal Pink, which is a really beautiful pigmented pink. Look at that pigment. So so pretty really has a nice pop to it a little bit on the cooler end of the spectrum but i feel like a lot of different skin undertones would be flattered with this shade you can just tell it blends out really seamlessly it almost has this like soft matte look to it which i think is really unique for a pot cream blush like this i usually don't love cream blushes that are too oily or slip off the face so this sort of more satin matte formula i've been really enjoying so a cream blush like this would typically run you 30 bucks and this one is only 963 with the Beauty Pie membership. So for this product, I'm gonna get a little bit on the back of my hand first. And then I'm also using the highlight end of this brush. I really like using my brushes for multiple things. And I really like applying cream blushes with a small sort of soft brush like this. So I'm just picking up the product. And once it's evenly coated on my brush, I'm going to start by stippling this on. And usually my main concern when I'm looking for a cream blush is whether it applies well over powder. Shade is so pretty. And the answer for this one is totally yes. It applies beautifully over powder. I don't really like using cream products under powder. I kind of just prefer doing it after I've powdered. And this one definitely lives up to my standards for sure. I think it's also really pretty to use this cream blush over the highlight we use because you're building up the textures and the look. And when you put the cream over the highlight, it kind of blends the blush into it. So you don't have that like separation. It blends really smoothly on its own, but this I feel like takes it to another even more natural looking level. And I really love this shade. It's not something I would pick out myself. Since I've been using it, I really enjoy like the life it brings to my face. I find this with blushes, usually shades I wouldn't pick out for myself are my favorite. So I really enjoy that cream blush, silky, smooth, perfect amount of glow and works well over powders. So two thumbs up. I'm actually going to be using the contour shade in here as my eyeshadow. I'm going to build it up. We did go in with a bigger brush just to lay down a little bit of a transition. But now I'm just going to saturate a little bit more color on the outer edges of my eye. I really love a face palette that you can use anywhere as a multi-use thing because for travel, I would probably honestly just bring this, use this shade in my crease, highlight on my lid, and then I could even do like pinks in my crease. Should we do that today? I think I might do that. Let's take this one just to tie in the pink of the cheeks. Dipping back into the highlight shade on my finger, 
I'm going to use this as my lid shade. These powder formulas really work well with your fingers too. There's not any fallout because they're not that powdery type of formula. They're really smooth. I love highlights on my lid as eyeshadow. Actually on a daily basis, I usually use a highlight because I like the more finely milled shimmer look. And the shade's really nice. And then also taking that same shade just on my brow bone. Finally, to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be using their Massive Fan 360 Mascara. I am obsessed with this mascara. You probably know how picky I am with mascara formulas and this one is so beautifully dramatic and it wears well so I'm just really in love and happy that I discovered this product. So usually mascaras would be around $30 and this one is $7.54. I'm kind of shocked at that price because I love this so much. We'll go ahead and put it on and you'll just see for yourself how beautiful this is. So it has a really interesting brush kind of unlike anything I've seen before. It's definitely like a tapered Christmas tree type of a shape and it's not a super like packed bristle brush which is nice because it doesn't get clumpy easily and it also doesn't pick up a excessive amount of product so it's easy to not get messy. Like that was barely even a coat. It looks so good. This is a lengthening formula, but it is thickening as well. So you're not just left with those like, you know, kind of spidery looking long lashes. It gives you the best of both worlds. Use the mascara on both top and bottom lashes. Run, don't walk. This formula is so good. It, I also find the brush is so good for the bottom lashes. It really like picks up all the lashes and coats them evenly without getting like those little balls of mascara or chunks that I find a lot of mascaras, especially for the bottom lashes do. It's just beautiful. I'm truly obsessed with this at the moment. So let's move on to lips. The last product for makeup I have is a lipstick. Lipstick like this would be around $30 and this one is $9.23. And I have the shade Dusky Rose, which is totally right up my alley in terms of not only shade, but formula wise. Really beautiful dusty rose as it's described. And it has this shine to it. So it is moisturizing, but really pigmented. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. The scent of this is a little bit like vanilla, but nothing too strong. With a softer sort of a shiny formula like this one, I really like to blend the edges of my lips out. I feel like it makes it look even more natural. But this shade is beautiful. It's very fall for me. It has that like cool rosy undertone that I really love. I think is flattering for my skin tone. So that was all for the makeup products. Fix my hair and then we'll wrap up with the other little goodies I have. Moving on to a body care product. This is the first product that got me interested in Beauty Pie. I saw this on their Instagram and I was like, I need this immediately. It was exactly what I was looking for. So this is called their Awesome Bronze Luxe Shimmer Oil Body Balm. Wait until you see the texture of this. It's absolutely beautiful, it has a very slight tint to it, sort of like a tropical vanilla scent, a little bit of shimmer, nothing too detectable. I was in search for a product like this for a long time, but a lot of them are so expensive, especially for a body product where you usually end up using a lot of product. This would typically be around $50, but this one is $17.60. I will put them on and show you what it looks like. I kind of wore the perfect shirt for this as long as I do not get it on it. It doesn't have a super thick texture, which I love. It almost feels like a gel lotion, really lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy, especially if you're using something like this in the warmer weather. I don't really like anything that's too sticky or globbery. I don't know if that's a good word to use, but you know what I'm saying. It gives the perfect amount of tint and shimmer. It's not very noticeable on the skin. I like that, especially if you're gonna be in the sunlight, you wanna wear it on your legs, on your arms everywhere and you don't want it to look like you have like sparkly body lotion on. Obsessed with this. It's so pretty, perfect amount of tint and beautiful for the legs, especially if you're wearing shorts or a dress or whatever. But on a daily basis, I've been using this if my like decolletage is open like this or just on my arms as a lotion and sort of glow product in one. So beautiful, definitely one of my favorites from the line. Highly recommend this one. It's also non-sticky by the way. So if you do put this on and then get dressed, it's not gonna rub off because it has more of like a silky finish to it. Checks all my boxes for what I was looking for in like a tinted body bronzing product. Really love that one. And lastly, we have a home fragrance product to talk about. This is called their Casa Coco Scented Candle. Wait till you see this bad boy. So this candle looks super luxury. Luxury candles would probably run you around $60. This one is $25.66 with the membership. The rose gold packaging calls my name. And the scent of this 
this I would describe as like tropical. It also has like a hint of like cleanness to it if you get what I'm putting down. It's just a really beautiful blend I think a lot of people would like. It's not a very specific like scent profile so I think depending on what you like you'd probably like that one it's a pretty lovable scent in my opinion so the scent description says that it has top notes of blood orange and coconut vanilla and tonka bean and citrusy it smells like warm citrusy sunshine on your skin so I was right it has that warmth of vanilla but it does have like a citrusy uplift to it which makes it nice and refreshing nothing too heavy so those were all the beautiful beauty pie products I had to share with you today feeling very glowy and pretty and sort of ready to go out or just sit here and edit the video. Either way is fine by me. So don't forget to use the code Lindsay sent me and you'll get $10 off your first purchase. I will link everything below and I'll pop that code on the screen here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Really fun brand to try out. I hope you enjoy learning about the new brand or if you've heard about them already, learning about some of their products. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it enjoyable at any point and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.